Hey guys, Smoogle over here. I'm back again. Um, doing something that I haven't done in a while. That's right, Moogle Lord tutorial vid. Um, today, uh, this tutorial, we're going to concentrate on controllers. That's right, if you guys remember back then, um, I did my first controller tutorial on how to install an, a wired Xbox 360 uh, controller for the PC and how you can enable the controller to work for moving. Well, from all the feedback and all the responses that I still get on the tutorial, people were asking me, Moving Lord, how do you uh, install a PS3 controller for your uh, PC so you can play movie? First, I didn't have the answer because at the time I didn't have a PS3 and not just that. Um, I didn't know how to install a wireless controller for the uh, PS3 uh, controller or the Xbox 360 uh, wireless uh, controller. So now I figure it out, figure out the steps on how to do it. So I'm going to show you, you guys how to use your wireless PC PS3 uh, controller uh, for the computer. Uh, so first you will need this. Can't forget this. The wireless PC, PS3 controller. Can't forget this. Second, you're going to need your USB cable that came with your PS3 controller, your charge cable. These are the two things that you need in order for us to even begin to set up this whole tutorial. So, you guys got these two things? Let's begin the tutorial. Okay, what you see here is my desktop a wallpaper. Course Dragon S. I'll just download that game. I'll do a review on that, you know, pretty soon. Let you guys know how that works out. Well, another thing I want to tell you guys is that um, the tutorial for this uh, PSG controller uh, to install into your computer uh, for Mugen is for Windows 7. I mean, there's some Vistas. There's a Vista driver in there as well in order for you to use it for Vista if you still have Vista, but. Since I don't have this, that I don't know, it's different. There's a couple different steps you should have to go through in order to get it to work. But this is for Windows 7. Windows 7. Okay. So, what you need to do is first, you're going to have to plug up the USB cable into your PSD controller and then put it into your USB slot on your PC. Now, I have done the steps already, so there's not really much I can really go through and show you. But I'm going to explain it and I'm going to take you to the steps and show you how the steps work even though I've done it already. So once you install the USB slot into your uh, USB cord into your PC slot, what you must do now, you'll see in the corner, which normally appear in the corner of your desktop is now installing a new device or new hardware or whatever it is that you got in, or whatever it is that, that pops up in the corner is going to tell you that it's going to install drivers for your new device. Now, just because you put your USB slot into your uh, USB cord into your USB slot on your PC for your PS3 controller, it does not mean, since it's say installing device, it does not mean that your controller is able to work on your PC. It only, all it does, your PC recognizes it as a charge kit. So, when you, anytime you plug up the USB into your PS3 controller or whatever, it all it's going to do is charge. It's not going to actually allow you to play games with the PSD controller because the component, it reads it as a charge station. So basically, the software we're going to download basically somehow manipulates it or to make it, enables it to work as a controller. So after you install that, we're going to take you to the site in order for you to get the drivers or any of the necessary tools that you need in order to continue on with this process. So next, you open up your web browser which I got Firefox. It'll take me straight. I'll go right here straight to my uh, Moving Lord webpage. Now, what you're going to need to do is I'll provide the link in the description box so you guys can just click on it. But for you guys who just want to type it in because you guys are impatient, because there's a lot of impatient people here, you go to www.hardcoreware.net slash how to. PlayStation 3 controller 64 bit Windows 7 and Vista. And this is the page that's going to show up on your your browser. Alright, so next what you're going to do is you scroll down 
and it, it, it pretty much has the instructions. You don't really, you, you don't really have to go through all this, but I guess seeing it on videos is a whole lot better. Uh, here's the instructions on how to go through with the process. Now, if you have Windows 7, they have instructions for that. If you have Windows uh, Vista, they have instructions for that. What you're going to need to do is you want to download the drivers for whatever uh, bit version your PC is. Now, in order to find out what bit it is, you go to your Start menu. When you open the Start menu, what you do next is you go to your computer. You right-click on it, and then you go to Properties. When you go to Properties, here's all the instructions: your manufacturer, manufacturer, and everything. Now, when you scroll down to here where it says System Type, mine is a 64-bit operating system. So, what I want to do is I want to download the drivers for the 64-bit version. If you have 32-bit, then you download the 32-bit version. Alright, next step, which we already went through, you plug up your PS3 controller. Now, once the, once the drivers are installed and everything, you want to download a zip file to run this whole program, which is called Install, install the Motion Joy Drivers. So what you're going to need to do is, once you download it, you want to get a zip file. So I'm going to go to I'm going to go to where I downloaded it at. Downloaded it here. So what you want to need to do is pretty much right click. I advise you guys if you have WinZip, that's good. Or if you have another program that unzips archives or files and stuff, just use that. So I'm going to open it up with WinZip. So my WinZip menu comes up and then I hit OK. So it's going to extract it. Well, since I already have it already, it's going to give me the folder that has it. So I'm going to just cancel it out. I'm going to stop everything since I already got the folder already. So the thing is called Motion Joy. So I'm going to click on it. Then once you do that, click on the icon. Now once you once you install the device. And once you install everything, you want to run the program. Now, once you run the program, you hit the icon to sign in, to load the icon and everything up. Now, this is the next part, which some people won't understand or won't get. So I'm going to go through it thoroughly for you. What we're going to need to do is, once this menu shows up, we have to go to the driver manager. Click on driver manager. And they're gonna ask you they want to ask you a question, just hit yes. And this is what you do. This is gonna show up. Now, pretty much what you gotta do is you have to be connected to the internet in order for this to work. Now once this shows up, you follow the steps. Next. What you gotta do is you gotta load the drivers up. Once you load the drivers up, this is gonna show up on your icon that everything is being that all your inputs and all your devices are being are being ready to use. So once you load up, once you load them, then you install them. Once you install them, all the drivers necessary for this program to work will be installed. The next once you install those drivers, you go to your control panel, hit control panel. Now, what you're going to need to do is you go to hardware and sound. Now, once you go to hardware and sound, we're going to go to devices and printers. Remember, this is on your control panel. Now, the thing that's supposed to show up. Now, what you're going to see, once, since your controller is plugged in, once you install the device and everything, you're going to see PS3 controller, R, and you're going to see HID compliant game controller. We want to go to this one. Now, what you do next is you click on it. Well, actually, you right click on it. Sorry about that. Now, right click on it and you go to game control settings now after you hit that you hit 
you'll see this menu right here. Now in this menu, you want to go to properties. Now, if your controller is working, you'll see the controller inputs. You'll see the Z-axis, X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation, dial, and slider. Now this is a test to show, to see if your controller works. So basically, press the buttons on your controller. You see that? Squares, squares for four, triangles for one, circles for two, X for three. Now, you notice if you move the direction pad, this will, the X axis and Y axis will move. This is letting you know that it's reading your controller. The controller is working. Now it's enabled for you to play games on it. Now, the problem is you can't use the analog stick. Why is that? Why is that moving, Lord? Well, I'm going to show you why. So, pretty much, you can close that out. Now, remember, your PS3 uh, tool bit is still open. In order to get the analog stick to work, you have to close it, exit out the whole program itself. Exit out the whole program itself. So, after that, the next step, you're going to have to... Open up your PS3 tool bit again. All right, then right here, right where it's highlighted at, your PS3 controller should be highlighted. Now, what you need to do is you make it make sure it is highlighted you click on this box and you click your DualShock 3 6 axis USB now right here the bar is moving me and it's charging now you have to select one mode select the PS2 POV joystick analog and triggers you click that box then after that you hit enable hit it twice just to make sure once you enable it you go back to your control panel you right click on the, the hid compliant game controller, hit game controller settings, go back to properties, and then you move your analog stick around. There you go. Now your analog stick works. It completely works for your PC. Now next is the test it on Mugen. Now what we have here is, is Mugen. And we're going to enable. We're going to enable this controller. So basically, go to the options of Moogan itself. Go to options. Once you go to options, scroll down to input configuration. Once you go to input configuration, you will see joystick type. If it's on disable, which means if it's on disable, it means you have no controller plugged up. Once you have the controller plugged in, you will be able to switch from disable to auto it's by clicking left or right. See? Disable, switch it to auto. Once you switch it to auto, you go to joystick configuration. Click on joystick configuration, and all you do is hit the configuration button. Config all. So you click on it, and basically, all you have to do is configure it. Where it says up, up. If it says down, tap down on the analog stick tap left, hit left, tap right, hit right. Um, A, B, C is all, all three kicks and X, Y, Z is all three uh, punch buttons. So you basically set it to your preference. Then after that, you escape and then you go down and you save your, you save your values of the controller. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it. All right, let's exit. And we're going to go to battle. Then after that, I'm moving the analog stick. Now you have it working. Well, this pretty much covers everything uh, for the PS3 uh, tutorial on how to protect your PS3 controller. 
to your PC and enable, enable the controller on moving. I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions, let me know. I answer to the best of my abilities. Like I said, this works for, as far as I'm concerned, I have Windows 7 operating system for my uh, PC. So I have a 64-bit uh, PC, uh, PC type and I have Windows 7. Now, the Vista Steps is a little bit different, which I don't have Vista. So, the website has instructions on how to work both Vista and Windows 7. So, if you got Vista, go through the steps, and whatever steps is required, all the instructions are there. I hope this tutorial was very helpful, because it helped me out a lot. That's why I'm able to play uh, Lugan with the PS3 controller and play Dragon's Nest with the PS3 controller. Um, there will be more tutorials to come, so you stay tuned for that. So, I have more classes to attend to. My, my day isn't over. I have biology lecture that I have to get to in a bit. So, this is Moving Lord. Sign it off.